It's a 100th anniversary for Our Lady of Victory Basilica in Lackawanna. And part of their anniversary year involves some major repair work. The National Shrine has partnered with a nationally known furniture company. Our main man, Mike Randall, checking it all out. A century of sitting and kneeling has taken its toll. And who sticks gum under their seat in church? I guess over the years you've got kids sitting in pews and sometimes they're, they're bored or whatever they're doing. The pews at Our Lady of Victory National Shrine of Basilica are getting a makeover. Father David LaPuma believes he picked a winner for the job. I have the greatest confidence in Kittinger. Uh, the quality of the work is bar none the best. The Basilica and Kittinger may be a match made in heaven. So we are rebuilding everything and everything is going to be original. Kittinger President Ray Bielkowski says they have about a quarter of the 43 rows of pews in-house already and they've been going to town. But these particular pieces are all hand stripped already. You can tell the finish is off. There are parts everywhere, but the process is methodical. It's all original mahogany. They're in great shape considering the uh, a little bit of scratches and, and gouges over the course of wear and tear over 100 years. I hope I'm in that good of shape when I'm 100 years old. There's plenty of sanding, staining, and finishing. Well, you can see how beautiful they are. These are just the front and seat being reassembled. That reassembling is with screws, not the original nails. Ray says this is the biggest restoration project they've ever taken on. They even had to hire a few extra people to help out. And what about all that gum? Yeah, it's amazing how much gum was underneath. But we got it all cleaned off, and so they're all going to be like brand new when we bring them back. <laughs> the plan is to have half the pews done by Easter. There's a sample finished piece already in place at the Basilica. There's a sense of pride that we're doing it because uh, it's so beautiful and to show it off to the parishioners as they're coming in now. That's what people said, it looks like a brand new pew. And Father David hopes the refinished pews stay that way. Praying when all is said and done that people will respect <laughs> the pews going forward. Taking away 100 years of wear and tear, that's a job for the very best. Will definitely last another 100 years, if not longer, because I believe our finishing process is much better than it was 100 years ago. Mike Randall, 7 News. Beautiful upgrade, but who at home is putting your gum mm -mm. under Don't the pews? It. Have you ever done that? I've never done no. that. I never thought to do that. Why would you do that? It's so gross. I mean, you have to go and get the host. I, I mean, I understand maybe it's people's people, logic, right. but it's not okay. No. It may not be okay, and but it's clearly being done. It's not a fun Stop job it. to scrape it off the bottom. Wow. Stop it. Right, yeah. Natalia, you don't they didn't go do on it. the floor. Our anymore. viewers well, don't do that. Maybe They're not. watching Someone the at other home stations, the ones who do that. Someone not at our home viewers. must have thought about <laughs> they it. They don't do that.